Hello everybody, konnichiwa. How are you doing? Many subscribers ask me about Japanese mythological creatures for their tattoos. And one recently had a very good question. Does phoenix in Japan have same meaning as in Western culture? Does it come from Japan? In Asia, nothing is ever simple, I think. Question about phoenix seems simple, but not so simple actually. There is not only one phoenix in Japan, but two, or many more. Japanese phoenix originally came from China, could be even from India. Long journey even for bird. It has a lot of similarity to Western phoenix. Same, same, but different. What do you know about Western phoenix? Phoenix. It is a long-lived bird known from ancient Greek mythology. Some people say it came from the East around 2,500 years ago. Phoenix regenerates itself, basically born again and again and again, life and death in a circle associated with the sun. A phoenix obtains new life by arising from the ashes. Phoenix is born every 500 years from fire of branches which he sets on fire by himself. The bird dramatically bursts into flames and then rises from the ashes. Born again. Phoenix means Parthenogenesis. Difficult word, but I explain. There is only male. No question if egg comes first or phoenix. You have this saying about chicken and egg, right? Which one first? So no phoenix eggs. Where does it come from then? Or do you want to ask what is the origin of all things? Do you know if there is only one phoenix? Or many different ones coming after each other? If you know, please let me know in the comment. Let's look at Phoenix. He has a body similar to that of an eagle, with red and gold-colored feathers and ornaments in the head, legs and wings. Phoenix is very brave with strong eyes like hawk, carrying powerful image, rise from the ashes. Invincible, even by death. That's why it's related to fire and red color. But now, what is Ho'o, Japanese phoenix? We think it is a chief of all kind of feathered animal tribe and it is called Ho'o. I know it doesn't sound fancy for English speaking people. It is also ancient. In China, it is mentioned in the first surviving Chinese dictionary already in the 3rd century BC. It drinks only sweet water from holy fountain. Only eat fruit from special bamboo that bears fruit every 60 to 120 years. They only nest in trees called aogiri, very special bird. But there is not only one ho'o. They were often seen as couple at the beginning of their history. They hold eggs. If you take these eggs as medicine, you can be ageless and immortal, like Holy Grail. So it is you to became immortal by their egg. Ho itself isn't immortal and can't be reborn either. Whenever a Ho died, many birds would grieve. At a certain time in history, because of its elegance and beauty, Ho became symbol of noble women. So that's why people tend to think Ho is female. It is beautiful, right? Just like women. And because of this, we start to pair with dragon, who is symbol for noble man. So visually, pair of Ho and dragon became popular. And we forgot that there is male Ho too. It has long history like dragon. It changed its meaning over time and place. During time of Edo in Japan, it is said that Ho is 120 to 150 centimeter high, like really big eagle. It has head and back of chicken, neck of snake, 
front part of body is Kirin, another mythical creature which I need to make another video about. So many stories to share still. Back of body is deer, back is turtle, neck of swallow, tail of fish. Super complicated! Is this how you imagine Japanese phoenix nowadays? Throughout history and artistic taste, Ho's appearance has changed with the times. Little bit like fashion and beauty standard is changing too. Basic appearance of Ho has always been elegant and colorful, maybe a bit like peacock. But what do they really do? It is said to appear only in a peaceful world under the rule of the virtuous sovereign, who is chosen to ascend by providence. Maybe that's why we don't see them often these days. When Ho flies, sky becomes crystal clear by virtue of its own virtue. No thunder or storm may occur. Rivers do not overflow, and plants and trees shall not sway. When the phoenix flies high up in the sky, all birds would follow. Very auspicious, announcing the most marvelous time for humans and the whole world. Since the Ho is a bird of good luck, its design is used in many artworks and architecture. In Japan, the phoenixes on the roofs of Byodo in Hodo and Kinkakuji Temple are famous. In particular, one of the roof of the Hodo is also shown on the back of the current 10,000 yen bill. It can also be seen on portable shrines and floats at festivals in various regions. It can be found in the patterns of kimonos and also family crests. Some are symmetrical, while others combine bamboo, peonies, and aogili tree where the ho'o nest. If you are a car enthusiast, you may know luxury limousine car Toyota Century. It is used by the Imperial House of Japan and senior Japanese government leaders. Its emblem is a hand-engraved gold ho'o. It is said to assess the character of people. Those she finds worthy and kind will be blessed. So we use image of Ho to celebrate, lift up our feelings, and to wish for good luck. Suzaku. Okay, Ho is colorful sacred bird. But I remember that there is also a red phoenix in Japan. What was that again? Are you talking about vermilion bird? It is called Suzaku. Do you remember? I talked about it before in the video, the four symbols. Suzaku is one of those four symbols or gods. It represents element of fire and the direction of south. It is different from Ho as I mentioned before. Suzaku is a guardian deity. Many gates of big area, city and temples have name of Suzaku gate. Of course the direction is to the south. So if you see a statue of a bird in Japan, you know the difference now. If it is red, red gate, in the southern direction, what do you think this bird is? Yes, it's Suzaku. And if it is on top of building, as it brings happiness and good luck, it's ho -o. It is very interesting to know that there are legends of sacred birds everywhere in the world. Bennu from Egyptian mythology which also is known to be linked with the sun, means creation and rebirth. He may have been the original inspiration for the Phoenix legends that developed in Greek mythology and later on came to Europe. Some people even say that it came from further east, where is Arabia and India. Garuda is sacred bird from Hindu mythology and has image of red and gold. Our mythologies often have connections somewhere in the past. In ancient times, there was no plane, no helicopter. Flying was only for certain animals. 
People couldn't think of how they can fly freely in the sky. There must be some magic, and those strong birds who can fly higher must have seen and known different world, mystical world. They deserve to be gods surely, at least deity and protector, and be called sacred. So now you know what is the difference between Phoenix, Ho, and Suzaku. Very, very short. Phoenix, fire, rebirth, single male. Ho, -o, couple or female, colorful and come to bring peace. Suzaku, always red, firebird, direction of south, guardian deity. Which one is your favorite? Phoenix? Ho or Suzaku? If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much for watching today and have a good day and good night. Bye, またね!